now it's time to finish up pulling this engine. We only got a couple things left to do and uh, she should come right out. We got a couple motor mounts. I gotta pull the starter off. I gotta pull the slave cylinder for the clutch. I gotta unbolt the transmission and it should come right out. Now, I just wanna change over the throttle body and I wanna clean up the clutch that's on the back of the car. There's a little bit of surface rust on it. Uh, excuse me, from sitting. So depending on how that looks when I'm done with it, uh, I think I'm just gonna leave that one on for now. All right, so we're making some uh, some progress here. Um, I got the clutch uh, master cylinder out. I got the starter out. Um, I just got the engine mounts broke loose, but uh, these bad boys were in there. Well, on the Subaru, they're right up there. You see them? And that's the. There's one there, and one right there. They're 14 mil, and then I have the uh, exhaust manifold. Now, as you can see, the underside of this engine is dirty because of all the oil and uh, that was leaking. Next, we got the three bolts in the exhaust manifold on each side. And that's out, and then I just have to come back under here and pull out these bolts. Now, sometimes the easiest way to get at a bolt here is to use an extension and come back from over here. Uh, it's just a little trick I've learned from seeing other people do it. Uh, because trying to get up in there from right here, it just doesn't usually happen. So step back, use some extensions, and usually you can get in there. And that's not only with a tranny, but it's usually with anything. So as you can see, the engine is out. Now, what we're going to do is come in here and just do some cleaning up. I mean, it's not that crazy dirty, but I do need to wire wheel this, get rid of the rust, hit it with some paint. And, uh, yeah, just clean it up in here a little bit. Really degrease that right there. Clean up inside there. Uh, I'm going to replace the throwout bearing. 
but sits right there on the clutch fork. Sits right there. Um, and I've decided that I'm going to use the uh, the flywheel that's on the engine. I'm just going to replace the the clutch plate and the clutch itself. Uh, depending on when I take it apart, what the clutch itself looks like. But yeah, I think I'm going to go with the OEM flywheel and the new clutch plate and pressure plate. So uh, I'm going to come in here and uh, we're about to start degreasing with some of this super clean and uh, let's see how it works. So, uh, last thing we're going to do before the end of the video is uh, paint up this uh, engine bay. So I got it all taped off. You know, I'm not going to go crazy uh, too much. I'm just going to get the major areas. And I got some on there. Uh, I wanted to see where it was going to stick. I had a couple problem spots when I went back and uh, ground it off and cleaned it down a little more with some uh with some astringent some 90 percent isopropyl that'll break down any oils uh that were left behind because i think that was why i had the issue but everything's cleaned up masked off and uh we're gonna go ahead and put this second coat of paint it was late last night that's why i didn't get all this on camera but there's just a few spots that I saw that I didn't like to look at. Uh, like this was rusty. I cleaned it all up. And uh, up there, you know, the paint was, it was all like scratched and stuff. So I just want to get it to look real nice. And uh, we're going to go ahead and pull off. So I've decided to, I'm going to use the flywheel, the OEM flywheel. I'm just going to pull off the pressure plate and clutch. Uh, clutch plate and swap it to the new engine so we're gonna go ahead and do that and then uh, that's gonna about wrap it up for this video and make sure you stay tuned for the next one because that is the one where we're gonna be putting this bad boy in and starting her up so if that's something you want to see be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button don't forget I'm holding you to it Alright guys, so that's going to do it for this vid. But check out how nice this came out. It's been drying for a day. I wanted to let it sit. And uh, now i got to unwrap everything. I did just get the throw out bearing in there. I wanted to make sure the clips and everything were still good. And uh, she's looking alright. So we're going to get this cleaned up, lubricated and uh, get all this plastic and tape off here and in the next one we're going to go through everything I did to clean this up get it de-rustified it's a great engine but it was sitting for a little bit out in the elements so it had a little surface rust on it so we're going to clean that up now that this is all ready for everything to get dropped in cleaned up, degreased, painted and I might say it, it looks a lot better than it did uh, and I used like a protective paint, not just a regular paint. Something that'll stand up to a little bit of abuse. Especially in the battery compartment. And uh, 
this is going to have an engine panel or a um, skid panel underneath because uh, the Subarus, there's so much of uh, the engine that's exposed to the ground that you really don't want to leave it without an engine cover. But uh, yeah, with that said, guys, until next time, peace out and uh, never stop grinding. And I just want to leave you with something. Uh, if you ever going through hard times or right now with everything going on in the world, uh, the only way to get through hard times and get through a struggle is to keep going. Just keep going. You know, when you're in the hardest of times, uh, just keep going and things can only get better. Until next time, guys. Peace.